This is a frame that I made. Uh, use it a couple different ways. The main reason I made it was for cutouts. Uh, cutouts, when you, you go in and you take the comb down, you put it in, you have to hold the frame vertically and try to tie a string around it or put rubber bands on it, and it's really awkward. So what I did was, I took a frame, I put a bunch of nails in it, and I put a permanent piece of monofilament on here. This is pretty heavy duty, this is 80 pounds, you could probably get away with 50 pounds, and I made one side permanent. But what's nice about this is you can lay it flat, put your comb on it, and then just take this extra piece of string that I put on this side and wire it up. You don't have to sit there and fiddle with it and try to hold it vertically while you're putting either rubber bands around it or string around it. Now, I run a lot of foundation lists, so what's nice about this too is if I ever break a comb, which I do more often than I care to, uh, to admit, is you can just put it right in there, string it up, and put it back in the hive. I made about uh, 15 or 20 of these. Uh, we're gonna do a cutout of a feral hive in a barn, and I wanted to be prepared. I wanna make at least three nukes, so I made somewhere between 15 and 20 of them. So when you're doing a cutout, you're not always trying to put the comb in there so that they'll attach it. What you really want to do is make sure that you get some eggs and brood so that if you don't get the queen in the cutout, you can raise your own. So this is really handy in putting that brood in there. Even if they don't attach it, you'll be able to have them raise a new queen for you and you'll have that feral stock in your apiary.